Out with the old and with the new, I'm gonna teach you how to customize your wade fishing box to be more effective and efficient on the water. All right guys, Captain Chris here from the Speckle True. Got my tackle warehouse order in. Way too many soft plastics, which is a good thing. Got my lure transfer pad, but bum ba da bum. Got our new box, right? And this is what we're gonna be modifying today and I'm gonna teach you just some really, really super simple tips of how to modify this box into an effective piece of your wade fishing arsenal. So the old box, why am I changing it out? This was the 3700 series Plano 4-2-3 size. It's waterproof. It's no longer waterproof anymore. It's had year after year of use in a high salt environment, and it's no longer preventing the salt from getting on uh, my lures. And so what I'm having to do is obviously rinsing and air drying them time after time, but on the same token is it just doesn't prevent any of the water from getting in uh, to my lures, right? And so now it's just past its prime, but we have a few modifications that we need to make to the box itself. The first is the tab. We're gonna add the tab, and we're also gonna drill holes on these back plastic tabs to help you, or to allow you to put basically your wade fishing sling on there. And then now uh, you've turned this box into your big wade fishing sling. First, we have our old box and we have our new box. Again, this is the Plano 3700 series 4-2-3 size. It's the same size box as this one. And we also, from the lure transfer pad in the old one, I was able to find um, something on Tackle Warehouse. It's, this, it's called this Cool Foot Material. I chose this color. They have a couple of different other colors out there. But the idea is, once we're done, with modifying the box itself on the outside of it, we're just basically gonna add this or add this to the outside of the box. It has that 3M adhesive on the back side. You'll just peel that off once you actually figure out where you wanna have it and we'll put that on there. But before we get to this part here, I wanna show you how to drill the holes in the back of these hard plastic tabs. So let's go through that here. So the next step, or really the only step, to this is drilling the holes in these hard plastic tabs in the back side of the box itself. And so this is what the old one looked like. We're gonna do that to the new one right here. It's about the same size, and all you'll need is a few simple things. Obviously your drill, and a couple of different drill bits. The first one you're gonna do though, is just a simple pilot hole. You'll wanna take your drill, center it on that hard plastic tab. Take your time. The idea is we'll want to get have that, the first one right there. We want to get it to a 3 8 That's the size drill bit we're going to want to get it to. It is an actual 3 8 size drill bit because that's going to allow you to put your weighting sling on the back side of your box. So let me get that. Let me drill a few holes and we'll catch back up here in a sec. So this is that cool foot lure transfer pad. I'll link this down in the video description as well as the box uh, that you would need. But the idea is obviously this is that transfer pad. I centered this one just so I could see in my box. Although my other box, I actually have it closer towards the the uh, outside of the box itself. And the reason for that is because now it's closer distance. So 3M adhesive, I'm probably gonna do the same thing and I might even, I'm gonna center it right there. You can obviously do whatever you want, but I'll go ahead and center it right there in the middle. And then the good thing about it is it actually has that, so it'll keep it straight. You take your 3M adhesive, strip off the back. Now it's a one shot wonder here. Now these, these actually weren't very much in terms of cost. I'm gonna butt that up against there. Just like putting a sticker. Voila. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Obviously just apply some pressure. You can obviously, they make a bunch of different colors on here. Again, I'll link that, but that's pretty much it. The idea is again, it's that kind of soft stuff 
that you can take a lure, a jig head, whatever, and you can poke it wherever to allow you to transfer and or store a lure uh, in between fishing. So it's a neat little modification for your wade fishing box. But that's it. Out with the old, in with the new. Make a few more modifications to the compartments in terms of that and my lures and how I like to set it up. But that's it. So hopefully this quick tip in terms of setting up your wade fishing box will make you more efficient, more effective on the water, and with a little bit more ease in terms of your wade fishing success. So until next time guys, tight lines, God bless. Remember, take what you need and release the rest. God bless.